everything here in this second round going. And now a combination punching, and Schwartz goes down! Okay, gentlemen, chunks are good on both sides. Now listen, I went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution you again to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Touch them up. Veteran referee Kenny Bay. Guys, at the weigh-in, Tyson Fury was calling Tom Schwartz a bum. Mm -hmm. He yelled in his face and said, you're getting it, Tom. I'm knocking you out, and I'm doing it in one round. That is not Tyson Fury's typical form. He's a master chess player. What do you expect early? Boxing. Sweet science. Lots of movement. For Tyson Fury, when you got big talks, we expect big walk. <laughs> it's not just about winning tonight. It's about winning in style for Tyson Fury. And for Tom Schwartz, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. You don't know if you'll get another one against a fighter like this with the credentials that he has on this stage. He's got to take full advantage. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I like the jab to the, to the body from Tyson Fury. I like how effortless it is. <laughs> nice and smooth. Oh, click with a shot right there in between. Good fast hands by Tom Schwartz. By Tom Schwartz, yes. But going down to the body will slow down Schwartz and also drain some of the power he packs in that right hand over time. Think about Tyson Fury, that's impressive. As you see a heavyweight, you see a guy 6'9", 85 inch reach like you mentioned, Tim, and you expect him to throw everything hard. No. He has different rhythms, different cadences. He'll throw a soft punch, a yep. blinding punch, and then he'll throw a sneaky right hand that you saw in the Wilder fight. If he lands that right hand flush, he can hurt Schwartz for sure. Look at the feint right there. You see the response from, from Schwartz. When you feint a fighter and it responds, you kind of laugh inside, you know, secretly. And then you set him up for the punch and for the opening that you see. I saw just a second ago when Tyson Fury feigned Schwartz, he dropped his right hand. He brought it forward. Look for the left hook of Tyson Fury and the right hand to follow. Fury successful with a right hand that split the guard moments ago. The constant movement, the ability, that jab, 85-inch reach as Schwartz tries to close the gap and drive down a right hand. You see that angle that Fury takes. He leans to the back foot in the direction of the right hand. You know, Wilder had success with that right hand, landing it on the ear, on the temple of Tyson Fury. So he has to be careful. He has to correct that flaw. Excellent work with the jab coming off the hip, utilizing that reach, that snap. Tried to turn it into a hook that time. Doubles it up, just constantly touching him, probing. There he is again, pumping that jab. Six foot nine in all that range. Steady boxing from Tyson mm -hmm. Fury right now. Not throwing combinations, not it's too early for that, but he's picking Tom Schwartz apart right now. End of one successful work with the jab from Fury. It just shows you what type of shape Tyson Fury's in. And oh, he's coming out southpaw. That's what I'm talking about, the Terrence Crawford of the heavyweight division. Smooth in the softball position as well. So now Tyson Tom Fury. Schwartz, who had to deal with that effective jab in that first round from Tyson Fury when he threw 45 jabs in that first round, now has to deal with the right hand sitting right on top of him. The southpaw jab that Fury will also turn over into a right hook. Straight left came behind at that time. Fury just giving a different look early. You know, you worry about him switching southpaw because of the right hand of Schwartz. Uppercut from Tyson Fury. Comes in with a left hand. Just missed with the right hook. But the uppercut was effective. Comes with a lead that time. And now he has Schwartz thinking about all the weaponry. Schwartz is slow on his feet, trying to get in position to, to land something on Fury. Fury just keeping him on the outside. Nice steady movement from Fury. Oh, there's a good left hand. Schwartz tries to fire back, and just like that, Tyson Fury turns the tables and lands a right hand at distance. 
Tom Schwartz hadn't even adjusted to the first thing that Tyson Fury was doing in the first round. Now he's giving him a different look from the southpaw position. A Goodness. lot of trouble on the shoulders of Tom Schwartz right now. This is what makes this division so fascinating. Deontay Wilder is the biggest puncher in the sport. He has dynamite in his right hand. But Tyson Fury is among the most complete fighters in boxing, let alone that he's 6'9", 265. Oh, how about that left hand? And now he's got both gloves down at the hips, and he is just pumpkin Schwartz coming off the hip. He knows he's in control. Look at Schwartz's nose. Blood is already streaming down here with still a minute to go in round two. Fury's in complete control. This is brilliant boxing from Tyson Fury. Changing angles, coming up the middle with the nice short uppercut, splitting the guard. Schwartz trying his best. Look at Fury! What unbelievable upper body movement defensively. Four punches missed with the head movement. He's got everything here in this second round going. And now a combination punching, and Schwartz goes down. This is a master class right now. off this sensational second round. Here comes the champ. Right hand, left hand, in the corner. Schwartz is in trouble. Big man's blasted away. He's taking a huge punishment. Gotta get in there. Ten seconds left. Gotta get in it's there. over. TKO victory. And still. Welcome to Vegas. His Vegas debut, and he's a showstopper. As brilliant a second round as you will see. And Tom Schwartz was badly, and I mean badly damaged. It's a big man moving. We talked about this in the buildup of the fight. You don't see six, nine men moving like that. Offense and defense, it's no fun when you get hit and you can't get nothing back. And that's the position Tyson Fury puts most of his opponents in. Beautiful work, stepping around right there. Now look at the head movement here from Tyson Fury. Make a miss, make a miss. Three, four. <laughs> I mean, this was truly My a master goodness. clinic. Master clinic this right one here. single round is take, everything take that, body that a shot top with you. boxer is supposed to be. And here's the knockdown. Tyson Fury, he smells blood. He's a vet. He's been here before. Tom Schwartz hasn't. And he's feeling the power. Every shot that's landing right now is a death blow from Fury. And down goes Schwartz. Crumbled goes Schwartz. Here's another look at the knockdown. He look sets. at this combination. That right hand was brutal. Wow. Absolutely brutal, and then the end of the fight with a sustained strafing attack to the head mm. and the punishment, and you can see veteran referee Kenny Bayless giving it a peek. But look at the angles. Look at the distance. He controls distance. He knows what he's doing. Do a little stiff for him right there. And three, four, right hooks. My goodness. Beautiful finish from Tyson Fury. He didn't rush it. He only loaded up when he had Schwartz in a compromised mm. position. I think he might have broke the nose of Tom Schwartz. Yeah. The way the nose was bleeding abruptly and, and the amount of blood that came out. It was Beautiful an instant waterfall of red going down the middle of the face. And the Gypsy King is king of the heavyweights. The lineal champ. Let's make it official. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 54 seconds in round number 2. A referee in charge, Kenny Bayless, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the undefeated... Tyson, the 20th knockout of your professional career. 20th knockout of your professional career. What message did you send with your performance tonight? First of all, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You said top rank in ESPN did not pay $100 million to see you knock out guys out. They paid for the show. They paid to see your box. You did a little bit of everything. You seemed like the complete package. What was the key to tonight? The key tonight was to enjoy myself. I put on an extra 12 pounds. I really, really feel it, you know. I haven't had three year out of the ring this time. This time I had a few months out of the ring. And I'm back, return of the Mac. The Mac is back, the lineal champion. Bring them all on!
So it seems that Snickers bars is not the superpower that other people thought is Schwartz did in the weigh-in. But at the end of the day, we had the impressive knockout by Wilder. Did you feel like you need to make a statement tonight to stay on that level? Do you know what? I came here to have fun and enjoy myself, put on a show for Las Vegas. And I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as I did. We would enjoy a rematch. What's next for you? I know you said you didn't want to disrespect your opponent by looking forward. Now it's time to look ahead. Is Deontay Wilder in your plans? I just want to thank Bob Arum, top rank in ESPN, for putting on a great show, you know. I've never seen promoting like this. There was two and a half hours of documentary Tyson Fury last night, all day for, for four weeks, every day. Great promotional job, guys. Amazing. I'm glad I signed with the best promotional team in the world. Um, what's next? Well, Bob will tell you, we have got either September 21st or October 5th. And then next year, we're going to hunt down Deontay Wilder and make him give me that green belt. You said you came to America to entertain. So what do you say I give you the mic and you entertain? Okay. <laughs> water. Water. I can lay you awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you smile while you were sleeping. Why are you far away and dreaming? I could spend my life in this sweet surrender. I could stay lost in this moment forever. Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure forever and ever and I, I don't I don't want to fall asleep, 